Slowly coming into focus under a microscope, these are ovarian cancer cells. And ovarian cancer has a particularly nasty trick, which chemists at the University of Warwick are trying to overcome. So these are ovarian cancer cells. This is what they've been using in the lab. And they're really interested in these because there's such a problem with resistance and ovarian cancer. If you have ovarian cancer and you relapse, when you go back to hospital, 80% of patients will have developed a resistance to the chemotherapy drugs. Half of all cancer treatments use cisplatin, and resistance is a real problem. But ZL105 is a new drug designed to work in a new way and avoid the problems of drug resistance. We are aiming to attack the cancer cell in many different ways. Because if we attack the cancer cell in different ways, it will not have enough time to learn what is happening to it and it won't react. It's more difficult for the cancer cell to develop resistance to that particular drug. ZL105 has only been tested in the laboratory, but we know it kills cancer cells. In this tray, cancer cells have been dyed purple. The lighter the colour, the fewer cancer cells remain after treatment with various strengths of the new drug. But getting a drug from lab to hospital bed is expensive and does take time. I am excited and I have to be optimistic. I'm, I'm at the very early stage, but I've, I've developed and my team have developed totally new chemistry for attacking cancer cells. It is complicated, the chemistry inside a cancer cell. We need new methods and new techniques for studying these drugs inside cancer cells. But we must be optimistic. There is a need for new drugs in the clinic that work by different mechanisms, and we're excited about that. It's a totally new approach, and so far it's looking very promising. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today at the University of Warwick.